Our prices have been making the headlines uh, for over a year now. So in the next two minutes or so, let's try to understand what happened, why this happened, and what the implications are. Uh, so what happened? Basically, since uh, June 2014, the price of oil has started to decrease dramatically from over 100, reaching to something less than $30 per barrel in the last few, few weeks, really. So that's what happened. Why this happened? Well, this is really uh, economics uh, and practice, meaning that this is the result of the dynamics of demand and supply. On the demand side, uh, demand has been the demand for oil has been rather weak for, for several months now, and this is mostly due to a sort of slowing down of the Chinese economy, but also the difficulty of the European economy to recover. So this has sort of made the depressed demand for oil. On the supply side, uh, certainly the big news has been the, the uh, increase, the dramatic increase in production from the US thanks to the development of the shale technology. So you have a market where the, literally uh, oil has been, uh, the market has been flooded with oil because of more uh, production from the US, now more in production from Iran and also Iraq. So excessive supply on the market and this contributes to have this uh, uh, drop a consistent drop in prices in the last uh, almost two years now. Uh, what, what are the implications? Well, obviously you would think that actually these are just good news because the cost of energy is actually lower. And indeed, we see our uh, bill, energy bill, becoming lower. But the reality is actually there are other implications. And the implications are that, for instance, oil companies are making losses. Uh, BP recently recorded uh, 5.2 billion losses which is the largest losses in BP's history. And you could say, you could tell similar stories about the oil companies. Um, and also, above all, producing countries, so Middle East, Russia, OPEC countries in general, are uh, sort of experiencing uh, uh, serious financial difficulties because the largest share of the revenues actually come from uh, oil. So, as you can see, this is the typical situation. We have two sides of the coin. It, it lower price is good news, but on the other hand, there's also bad news, and we can see that this is actually uh, flowing also through what's happening also in financial markets.